Hey everybody, Matt Merck here. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing uh, from Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino's From Dusk Till Dawn. This right here is an awesome movie. Um, this is like a retro review. And, uh, you know, it came out 20 years ago, I'd say, something like that. Um, it's, it's a real genre bender. It's uh, like a bank robber type, you know, crime drama mixed with, uh, or thriller mixed with horror. So, um, yeah, I'll just, uh, basically there's going to be spoilers in here. This is the um, the DVD right here. It's got a ton of special features on it. Um, right now they have the Blu-ray, so I'm gonna have to go back and probably get the Blu-ray one day. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up. I think it's on Netflix right now, so most people probably have access to it. But go out and get the uh, the Blu-ray or the um, you know the special editions. You can get all that special feature stuff. If you're like a um, you know a movie buff, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love all the you know, behind the scenes of how they made the makeup. You got um, KNGB doing the special effects in here, which is, um, um, I forgot his name, the guy that does, uh, I draw a blanker now, the guy that does Walking Dead, he um, he does all the, the makeup effects for this. He also directs Walking Dead now. Uh, Greg Nicotero, that's his name. So he's in the movie too. He's one of the, uh, he's like the blonde guy that's about to get in a fight with Sex Machine. So, and Tom Savini is also a Sex Machine, is a makeup uh, special effects director and legend too, so. Let's get into the movie right now. Um, basically, it, it starts out with um, it starts out like in a liquor store, and it's got um, George Clooney and um, and uh, Quentin Tarantino, and they are the um, the Gecko Brothers. And uh, basically, um, they're they're going to the liquor store and they're they're buying some stuff and um, they're uh, you know uh, waiting in the back of this like store, and there's this uh cop going in there and the cop is actually like this character actor that's been around for a long time and he's in a bunch of like uh quentin tarantino movies and uh he is the um he's the uh sheriff that's in there he's in like kill bill so he he basically connects like all of the um all the movies from the uh quentin tarantino verse and the um Quentin Tarantino verse and the Rodriguez verse, and he's in uh yeah Kill Bill, From Dust Till Dawn, and I think there's one more movie he's in too. My mind draws a blank right now, but uh yeah it's it's pretty awesome. Um so he's in the he's in the he's in like this gas station liquor store type thing out in the middle of uh the Midwest, and um you have a uh, Robert Rodriguez or I'm sorry you have a uh, Quentin Tarantino, and um you have a uh, George Clooney, he's in there, and they're hiding in the back, and the, the the cops talking to this uh clerk that's in there, and um, you know they're talking about these bank robbers. They're called the 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 Greco or the Gecko Brothers. They they robbed this bank not too long ago, and they're on the road right now, and um, yeah, they're just basically looking for him, and um, they're hiding in the back of the store, and there's just like a really cool like little scene of like dialogue that you can check out you know i have um between the uh the cop and the and the clerk at the the store so anyways they 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 come out and they um they come out and uh they end up getting in like a little gunfight with the um with the clerk and you know they blow up the gas station and uh you know they get away and they kidnap uh they, they kidnap this lady and they're supposed to meet up with this dude in mexico or in uh yeah in the mexico right on the border and um they pull into this hotel and one of uh, the quentin tarantino's brother is like a crazy like sick dude and he's got like mental problems and um basically they're gonna like um they're gonna try to uh meet up with their friend and this dude is um this guy they're gonna meet down in mexico and he uh he's gonna give them like a, a, a pass just basically to to get into mexico and they don't have to uh you know, worry about anything anymore. They can just leave the leave the country, and that's it. There's nothing else to worry about. So, on the way there, they um at the at the hotel, they bump into this family, and it's a father played by Harvey Keitel and his daughter Juliet Lewis, and uh, they um basically are go going across country and trying to deal with like their um mother's death and. Harvey Cattell is like this um, retired preacher that's lost faith in God. And um, 
yeah, they basically like end up like abducting them and uh, taking them with them to meet their friend in Mexico. And um, yeah, on the way there, um, they uh, stop at like the um, they stop at the uh, it's border inspection and Cheech Marin. He pops up, he's a border inspector, and he almost gets caught, and, uh, it's funny because he's in the movie, and he plays, he, he plays, like, three roles in the movie, so he's, like, this guy that works at this bar, so they, 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 they get past, um, they get, uh, past the, um, border inspection, and they end up at this bar called the Titty Twister, and you have Cheech Marin again, he's there, and he's, like, um, he's basically, like, this dude that's out front, like, saying all these, like, different things about uh he's talking about uh in, talking dirty out in front of this thing advertising the prostitutes and you can uh you know check it out if you want it's pretty funny though he's like he's like this um yeah dude out in the front so they go inside and they're, they're they're getting ready to meet their friend there and um there's a bunch of truckers there and um just a bunch of like bikers and stuff like that and uh yeah, they're just they're just basically waiting there till dawn. Their their friend, I believe it's Carlos, is supposed to meet him there, and their friend Carlos is also Cheech Marin. So it's, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, basically the the Salma Hayek comes out and she's like a stripper, and um, the lights go dark and she turns into a vampire, and then basically the whole movie just switches into like a straight up vampire like survival movie in the middle of this uh this bar in Mexico in like Tijuana, I think it is, or somewhere like that. And, um, uh, yeah, like, they, they start, um, fighting with everybody, and then the Tom Savini guy, his name's Sex Machine, and he end up, he end up, he ends up turning into, like, this crazy, like, this vampire, and, uh, I don't want to give too much away as far as the fight sequences go, but it's pretty cool, he, um, he has this awesome whip, and he has this, like, this crazy gun that pops out, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, he has this crazy gun that pops out, and, he gets in a fight, and I think it's with George Clooney, and um, he turns into this, like, he starts turning into a vampire, and then he turns into this, like, this rat, and so he just keeps, like, mutating into different, like, uh, vermin, like, <laughs> like, demonic vermin, it's it's pretty cool, like, I, w I didn't expect that to happen, I think they blow his head off, and then he grows, like, a new rat head, so he's, like, this rat, rat demon beast, but, yeah, so the movie keeps, keeps chugging along, and, um, basically, um, they, uh, a, f a few of the, the members of, um, that, that, start, that start out in the beginning of the movie, you got, um, George Clooney and Harvey Cattell and his kids, they, they find this room that, like, all these, that the vampires, like, basically is, took all this, like, uh, truckers, like, cargo, and they, um, they make these weapons, so, you know, the, the daughter makes, like, a, I forgot what the daughter makes, I think she just has, like, a crossbow, and then, the the dad Harvey can tell he um he blesses some water so they make holy water because he used to be a priest and then he has like a a shotgun with like a stake or like a, a flashlight or something like that and he uses he makes a cross out of it so that helps and then George Clooney he gets this like jackhammer and sticks like a um sticks a stake at the end of it and it starts you know smoking and doing all this like choo -choo 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 -choo. so that's basically what I'm drawing right now I'm looking at a little picture on Google and just trying to do a quick sketch about it real fast for fun. A little, like, cartoony kind of comic book style one. And, um, yeah, that's that's basically what happens with that. And then they get out and, um, whatchamacallit, um, they end up uh, slaying most of the vampires. And then the, the you know, the, the sun comes up and George Clooney gets out with uh, Juliette Lewis. And he meets up with, with Carlos and, uh, yeah, that's basically kind of how the movie goes. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, it's 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 a it's a genre bending horror movie mixed with a, a bank robber movie. It's got an all star cast. Um, George Clooney, this was his big break. I don't think I've really seen him like in anything else that was as good as this. I think this is his best role like I've ever seen him in. I'm sure you know he's done a lot of like political movies and shit like that, but this is his best movie. Like still, like it's the movie that kind of kind of got him out out into the mainstream, and, um, I don't know, I like it a lot, and, uh, yeah, it's, um, it, it spawned, like, two sequels, a TV show, um, it was, it was, um, I don't know, it, it was just cool with, um, just, like, the way that, that it, it took off, you know, like, on the L Ray Network with Robert Rodriguez, 
Um, and Robert Rodriguez is what one thing I like about him is he he always uh he always does the music most of the time for his own um movies and there's not many directors that can actually like make make music for their movies. Um, he does it. So does John Carpenter. Um, I wish they would like. I wish they would kind of like make like a sequel with like uh with um George Clooney. You know, I I know they 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 did the TV show and the TV show was pretty cool, but it, it was it was like kind of. It's kind of cheesy. I don't know. It just kind of had this like, just wasn't. I don't know. It just wasn't there for me. It wasn't the same thing. It was entertaining, and I, I watched every episode, just because I liked the whole like, from dusk till dawn verse. But I don't know. It just wasn't. It wasn't the same as as the movie, you know. Or and then the, the um, what you call this? The other movies. Uh, they, I don't know. They just, they weren't there either. They were like, direct to video, and it just didn't really feel like the same way as the other ones. But uh, I, I remember watching those, but I, I watched this movie like a million times. I remember when I was a kid, um, this movie, uh, I don't know, it just really stuck with me. I remember my dad and my grandpa and, and my uncle, we all went out and watched it. And um, took me out of school and we went and watched it and went to the comic book store and we, we got some Shakey's Pizza. And it was just like a fond memory I had of my family um, from back in the day. When, uh, when I was a kid, and now everybody, you know, you know how it is when you get older, everybody dies and stuff, and it sucks, you know, but, um, yeah, I definitely, uh, I recommend this movie, I also, I was at the beer store today, and I found this right here, Trejo Cerveza, Danny Trejo's in the movie, too, he plays a bouncer, he's, a, he's like the, um, Mickey Mouse of the, uh, of the, um, <laughs> the, the Rodriguez verse, him and, him and, uh, Mickey Rourke kind of could battle for that, but, you know, he wins out, he's, he's machete, so, I picked this up. It looked really good. It's a Mexican craft lager. And um yeah, he um I think he's got like an ingredient list on here too. It's, it's pretty cool. I don't really see that 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 much. It's got a uh, It's got raw premium pilsner malt, uh Weyermann Munich type one malt light, uh flanked rice, flanked maize, uh magnum hops. Uh Tetnag hops and um, lager yeast. So, you know, it's, I think it's like a 5% or, oh no, it's a 4.7. So we'll go ahead and, um, yeah, product of US, made in LA. Yeah, so what does it say right there? It says nectar of the Mexican gods. All right, yeah, so let's go ahead and take a tug at it. That's smooth. It's really smooth. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Yeah, I'm not blowing no smoke. It's a, it's a decent beer. I think I would drink that. Make some like some nice carne asada or something like that, rather than like a Pacifico or something like that. But yeah, I definitely um, I give the uh, Trejo Cerveza and the um, you know, from dusk till dawn, the original, two horns way up. And um, yeah, I also got my um, I got my uh comic right here i'm gonna show at you guys it's a uh, butch cleaver it's a supernatural horror western it's on uh indiegogo right now i'm actually um starting up my email list so there'll be a um, link in the description if you guys want to check it out it's about a um it's about a butcher that gets killed and he's, he's brought back to life by voodoo hex and it uh gives him the power to weaponize bone on a molecular level so you know if i ever made a movie or had a choice for someone to direct it'd probably be robert rodriguez Cause he, uh, I don't know. He just seems like someone that could, that that would be awesome to do the movie with. Um, yeah, he's one of my favorite directors. I think that Sin City was probably the the best comic movie ever made. Um, so that's like a big influence on this book too. Like the Sin City has this town of all these like crazy people in it, and um, you know it's a dark town and just all these like weird like mob bosses and stuff. So Sin City and Gotham City uh, helped inspire this this story. Um. Yeah, and it's just, it's a, I try to make like this gothic western type town, city, it's called Oubliette, so, you know, it'll it'll be in there if you guys want to check it out once the book launches, but it's going to be in like spring or um, summer 2020, so yeah, if you like, um, you like metal, you like movies, you like brewskis, then, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, and, uh, you know, follow Metal Movies and Brewskis. Thanks for thanks for watching folks. We're going to have daily content here and you guys have a great week. Thank you.